What you're seeing here is, um, is not a bee blocking the entrance. She's actually having a fight with another bee that's uh, installed herself inside. And there's another bee as well. So there's three bees on this uh, tunnel. But sometimes they just like to give each other uh, nips as they go by. They're working on other things, for example, that one. Now yeah, she's just gone on the tunnel above. She gave the one below a nip, as if to say, this is my patch. But uh, no, what we see here is, uh, there's no great, there you go, you can probably just, I might get an idea of it. There really is a head-to-head -head battle. This, I, I keep saying, this is what makes me think that Mason bees are so, uh, so effective. This is this anxiety that they have, um, and sometimes it's uh, realised that Every time they leave, they're uh, leaving the front door open. They're going off to work and the front door is open, so they've got to get away as quickly as possible and uh, come back as quickly as possible. Um, interesting thing is, uh, yes, day before yesterday, we had wet, wet weather yesterday, day before yesterday, I measured the distance between the mud and uh, the bees here. And it's exactly 40... 42 metres, so they've got an 84 metre round trip, no, sorry, 43 metres, so 86 metre round trip to get the mud. So it's quite good, that's probably one of the reasons why I have a good population, because they don't have that far to go, um, although the mud source is uh, to, uh, to always preserve. I mean, um, anyway, as you can see, um, just to avoid mites, and, and I've been squishing uh, birds, uh, birds <laughs> flies. I've um, I've just taken out these these reeds, these Japanese knotweed ones, and they're going to go into my um, they're going to go into my uh, box inside the house to make sure that they will dry out properly and that the mites don't get a chance to to work on them. Although saying that, I haven't seen a lot of mites uh, on the actual bees. Now, I don't know if you see here. And just in the corner there's a there's a fly just being a bit sneaky. No, you probably can't see it. But it went on around the back of the reed. And there you go, that's um that's a little uh, event for today the the first weekend in uh, May. Um, well actually there you go, there's a there's a fly. These are terrible. Well, they're not terrible, they're just nature and doing their own life. But, um, you see it just by that staple there. Yep. And here's one there. Uh, it's been filled earlier. <laughs> 